And uh, for Tony, uh, how exciting is it for you? You're in a five-round uh, UFC title fight. Uh, how, I mean, I think this is one of the greatest lightweight matchups of all time. What do you think of the matchup? And uh, what, is, what is your overall mindset and feeling uh, to be on the verge of this fight right now? It's a fantastic fight. Well, for myself, this is another fight. There's nothing different. There's no other difference besides he's another name on that, on that wrestling chart, man. Uh, I've always looked at it that way, and I'm never going to stop, no matter how much clout and how much uh, people feed it up to be and how big of a head everybody else has. I'm going to keep doing the same thing, which is being me and letting myself uh, flow inside that octagon, and nobody's going to stop me, man, on my way to victory. No uh, and, it for, uh, and for Khabib Nurmagomedov, Phil, you're finally in a UFC title fight. Uh, you've been through a lot. You had a two-year layoff, and now you're back, and uh, you've been winning fights spectacularly, and you're finally in a UFC title opportunity. So after everything you've been through, what's it like to be in this situation? Hello? For, for Khabib? I don't hear you guys. Uh, yeah. So I was asking, uh, what's it like uh, after everything you've been through after your layoff? Being a uh, UFC title opportunity, which you've been uh, coveting and you've been going after for quite some time. You know, I am very excited about this fight because this is what I want all my life. And, you know, uh, March 4, my dream has come true. And, uh, you know, I have very big fight and a very big UFC fight card. And, you know, like Peter Russo, I'm very excited about this. I just finished my last hard sparring, and I'm healthy, no injuries, no nothing. I'm, I am, you know, like best shape of all time my career. And now, make weight, and March 4, I'm going to make history. I'm going to break this guy. This guy think he's tough, but when cage closed and me and him alone inside the cage, I'm going to break this guy. You ain't breaking shit. You know, under, you know, understand how I'm strong. You know, understand this. All the time when he fight with Western guys, he had problem. But he never fight he with, lost with Western guys. That. You never fight with Western guy like I, I have, you know, like I have power. I have. Wrestling. You lost the T-Bow, dude, straight out. You lost the T-Bow in that when? first entrance fight, man. Your first fight, when? you lost him. I beat him in the first round. How can you say that you lost? Man, you lost that fight, fair and square. I saw that. Hey, this, this, this is, you know, like... My you ain't breaking shit, dude. You keep talking. Okay, okay, okay. But you lost for Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson kicked your ass. No, nah, he didn't kick my ass. He, he broke my arm about, and I fought the rest of the fight. I fought the rest of the fight and I smacked him with that arm. Hey, you talk about Michael Johnson gonna kill me. What happened? Well, you think I'm gonna root for you? Fuck no, I ain't gonna root for you. No, no, you, you talk about, hey, Michael Johnson gonna kill him. What happened? I finished him. I can finish him first round. I can finish him second round. You know, I just talked That's with Michael him Johnson, dude. That's a whole completely different person, dude. I would destroy Michael Johnson hard. now. You go he down. Shit, he dude. You seven times. You have you 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 have seven times knocked down. You go down seven <laughs> times. You go down. What hey, happened? dude. You try to take me down. You're gonna find out exactly how sharp my elbows are. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll see whatever. Much for we have one week. One week. After one week, everybody see who is who. Yeah, after one week, you're not going to have your team to back you up. Nobody else is going to be inside remember, that octagon with you. Remember, inside the cage, I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. You ain't going to break gonna shit. The only thing you're going to break you is your heart after you know, I kick your ass. You we'll see what happens. Yeah, just try to make weight, dude. I'm not quite. I'm, I'm now, I'm, my, my weight is great. My weight is great. Don't worry about me. Shut up and train me. Nah, dude, my training is good, man. You have no idea how hard I train. I'm on a whole new level Focus other than you, man. Training. Why are you talking about my, my training? Why are you talking about my weight? Why are you talking about my condition? Because you're fat, dude. Oh, yeah. You're fat. You'll never make weight and your conditioning sucks. <laughs> okay, see, see, see you. See you Friday. See you. I, I, I show you my weight. Listen. I show you my weight Friday and I show you my spirit on Saturday. Yeah, go ahead, man. I'm going to break your spirit. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. Okay, guys, we've now got Stephen Thompson on the line, so let's go ahead to Damon Martin with Fox Sports. 
<laughs> hey guys, uh, first question for Tony. Uh, I, I know you've probably answered this question a million times, but how do you feel like your wrestling matches up with Khabib's wrestling, just in a pure wrestling aspect? From pure wrestling, I got 20 plus years. I got 20 plus years doing this sport, man. And I did so well in it, I actually took up other sports because of it. I got bored with wrestling because, you know, it was so awesome and I loved it. I did it for so long. I want to learn how to botch. Uh, this guy has no chance against my wrestling, dude. He thinks Sambo is awesome. I, I got respect for the sport. I got respect for where he comes from. But his, my wrestling is far superior, and my style is just completely different in his. My freestyle background is going to put – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run circles all over this guy. Hey, I have one question. I have one question. Okay, if you're so confident like this, why you try running away from this fight? Why? I make this fight. You know There's this, nobody running away from this fight. There's yeah, nobody you, fucking you, running you, from you. you. Absolutely you not. Try, I'm you staring at you right in the eyes. You, dude, you're a punk. You're a fucking bully. So you're I a fucking bully, just like everybody else at AKA. All you guys do I is talk you. shit. Okay, I you. Go ahead. Hey, wait till March 4th. Okay. Wait, just wait. Why you Why you try running away from this fight? Why? Nobody why is fight? running from this. Hey, dude, nobody's running. The only person that's fucking running is fucking Connor, dude. Absolutely not. Okay. Nobody's running from this. No, no, no. Calm calm down. Calm down. I want to ask you was the only one that separated me from beating your ass over at that conference. No, no, listen, listen. You talk too much. I, I want to ask you something, please. Wait. No, no, you and your fans talk too much. I see how no, you no, are. No, I see you're a bully, dude. Listen, I'm going to kick your I ass to beat. Hey, hey, why you talk too much? Jimmy, I want to ask you something. Listen, why you try running away from this fight? Or oh, give me this Who tried running away from this fight? Hey, dude. Hey, me no, 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 no. Fight with him. I can fight with him, nothing. No, I don't need money. I fight. But Nobody I is running from you, G. Nobody you. is running from you. You can go ahead and have your manager try to tell you all the things to say, but honestly, I don't give two fucks. Nobody is running from yeah, you. I'm standing right in front of you. About money. I, I, I don't give two that, fucks. What I want, what I want, I want to break your face. I want to break your heart. This is what go I ahead, want. You have to stay ready, no, 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 no. Try to do it. You say you want to break my arm? Are you going to try to break my arm? No, Kabib, I got a message to you. You say you're going to try to break my arm? My I love you, you my baby. So I'm going to say, go you ahead, I dare you. My fist. I, I bring you here. I bring you. Nobody bring you. I bring you. You, dude, you me, didn't do shit, dude. Fight. Your padded record oh. ain't nothing. You know what? You got two no, no, round no. fucking victories, which are absolutely no, okay, nothing, okay. man. You tough guy. No, listen, listen. You have to ask no, me nobody's me. listening to you. I can't even understand you, dude. Your hat, your hat is covering your ears. You're not listening to me. I can take a half a mop. And make money, but I say hey, I don't need money. I don't need nothing. Please give me this guy because I'm gonna break your face. I'm gonna break. Nobody's this breaking fight. shit. But you try to run. I make this fight. Not Dana. Not UFC. Nobody make this fight. You I didn't make, make fight. shit, dude. You didn't make you shit. Know you were gonna what? Fight? You gonna fight another Nate Orchard? Is that what you're gonna fight? Hey, another Nate Orchard and bully him? Fight Come on, man. Because I bring you here. I you are you. nobody I brought. You yeah, right. This okay. Right. So all the nine victories that I have, right? Nine victories that I have in a row. Man, you're no, gonna be I like, okay, yeah, I did that, to Tony. You I did that. I did all the work, man. You didn't do shit. Hey. Fuck you, Khabib. Hey, you didn't do nothing, dude. You're a bully, dude. I'm the, the fucking matador. I'm gonna finish your ass. When I ask, you got shit against me, dude. You can keep talking, bro. You talk way too much. You say I fuck. You talk way too much. You talk way too much. You're a fucking bully. I'm gonna put you away. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys. Questions. Let's let Damon ask his next question. Uh, Tony, when you when you look at the guys you've beaten on the nine fight win streak, you've obviously beaten some great fighters, uh, including the former champ Javier Dos Anjos. But where do you rank Khabib? Do you believe he is the toughest opponent you faced? Yeah, he's the next in line, man. Nothing. You know what? Doubt never got me here, and nobody else held my hand to get me here. My fucking hard work, my determination, and my finishing people and earning my performance victories has gotten me here. Dude, I'm going to finish this dude like I did everybody else. I'm not going to even tell you how. Because I'm not like anybody else. This guy wants to talk about trying to break me, break my arm, break this. And he says, I talk too much? Dude, I ain't fucking said nothing. Dude, I just no, trying I to hype up the I, fight. I, you got, you got, you got 1.9 million people that are going to be fucking sad as fuck when I go in there and I finish your ass. No, okay. I want to say something. Please listen. Please. I want Nobody to say something. To you. When you ask me, hey. You you have to fight with Tony. I say okay, let's go. This is what I want because he have nine win streak. I have eight win streak. We have to fight. And after you hey. ask him, he say please give me money, give me this. He tried to run, but I oh, there's no fucking please, money. please, please, nothing, dude. It's what I've earned. You know, you can hey, talk as much I, shit. I, like I, I said, your management speaks for you, man. And you know what? I don't give two fucks. Tony, you you go ahead. Try to hype it up. I talk to you now. 
You have to shut up more than myself. Listen to me. Bullshit. You, you were trying to fucking pay me. I said, you know what? I spit on your money, dude. Your money is fucking worthless to me. I can give two fucks. I wanted UFC's money because so I earned it. About you, you asked you ask about money. I said, okay, I'll give you money. Come I didn't ask you for shit. Nobody asked you for absolutely nothing. So now you you're asked, fucking full of shit. You you're full of shit. Say, I need money. You you're full of shit. I never you asked twice. you for nothing. The only thing I asked for is your no. face so I can smack no. it. No. UFC say he doesn't want to fight with you because he needs money. I say, okay, I give you money. Don't worry. I have money. I give you money. Please take I'm this guy. That, dude. You know what? It is not about the money. It's about being fair. How about that? It's about being fair. A fair fight. That's what it's about. Uh, I can I can fight with other easy fight. I can take this fight, but I said, please, I need tough fight. You know why? You're about because to you know you're about to fight to Jose Aldo. You're about to pick on a one forty five. Because so I don't my heart more things about. in your head. You know that's why that's why I ask. But you never ask about fight with me. You never ask. You try to run away. From Dude, this fight. I've, please, you were give next me, in line please no matter give what. Me money. You know why? Why you ask too much money? Because you know you have this. This is your last fight. In you be how, what ranking was Michael Johnson? This what ranking your was last Michael Johnson? Fight in UFC, that's why. You're beginning to Absolutely try. Absolutely not. We'll, we'll see March 4. I'm gonna break your career. I'm gonna break your face. Khabib, you have 1.9 million followers that are going to be fucking absolutely detrified when I go in there and I finish your act and see your you ass all fucking bloody. You have to beat my feet because I bring you here. I make this fight. You have to beat I'm going to throw you. Gonna I'm going to throw you from your head to your toes, dude. I'm going to flip you upside down and everybody inside the octagon is going to see it, dude. And nobody's going to be able to save your ass besides John McCarthy or Herb Dean. I don't give two fucks whatever you fucking say. <laughs> and for interruption, yeah, Damon Martin nervous. has another question. You, you know why you're nervous? Because I talk to, I say true. That's why you're nervous. If I say, if I talk talking, you never nervous. Because I say true. I make this fight. You, you try to run away. From you didn't me. make shit, I dude. You act like you have so much clout. You didn't make shit, dude. You know what? You're just the next person in line for me, man. So you know what? You could either step aside and fucking miss this ass beating, or you can step inside that octagon and come at UFC 209 at the T-Mobile Arena, and you're going to get your ass kicked by myself. You're going to really find okay. out what fucking El Kukui, I mean, fucking Baba Yaga, bro. El Kukui, El Kukui, El Nagda, you're not El Kukui, you El Nagda. Baba Yaga. Seven times you go down in your All my life. All my life, you El Nagda, El Nagda, you're not El Kukui, you understand? You have to shut no, up. Baba Yaga. I'm going to finish your career. You ain't got shit, dude. Try it. Okay, we'll see. See you, see you, see you, El, el Nagdown. Hey, whatever you say, Khabib, it ain't going to save you. 